is going to be able to spell shield at least one of Kassadin's abilities and then just get Miss Kassadin will be locked down. So I'm a bit concerned. Well, the runner's up. Koo Tigers will be able to bring this to a series. We are in that second game of this match between Najini and Fire and to a nice win if they can actually stop the Tigers from taking this turret. The Corky Trinity Force Power Spike really going to work. They're going oh, in. Najin's going in. Depth Charge on to Prey, and he has to flash out, but he's met with Duke as he comes in with the Twisted Advance. This man's just going to have to bounce out of that fight, leaving Wisdom all alone, and Oki picks up a kill there for Najini and Fire. Goon coming down the river to keep Kuro at bay. So he wanted to get Gnar ulted into that wall. Now Najin trying to take out these minion waves, and they have control, vision control over the Barons, and now Najin can actually <laughs> start baiting this. Oh, okay. the Oh, and Smev gets pulled in. He doesn't have Mega Nar right now. Black Shield used, and Prey actually has to go all the way out of the fight thanks to Death Charge, and Oki picks up a kill onto Smev. Another twisted advance from Duke, and a triple knockback with his Arcane Smash. Prey also gets caught back. A triple kill for Oki. The game turns on its head as Najin puts pressure down the mid lane and walks towards Baron. Black Shield jumping forward just for a little bit of poke, but not gonna really connect against members of Najin. And the Koo Tigers trying to keep Najin at bay while they try to shove up the mid lane and the bottom lane together. This isn't allowing Duke to go deal with that, and Smev almost turning into Meganar. Is he gonna jump in? They do get a lot of damage onto Duke, and that's gonna force Najin to disengage. Nice dark binding onto Duke, and the body slam. Tons of damage going in Black Shield, and that's gonna allow Kuro to jump in and finish off that Maokai. Goong has to spirit rush out, but Kuro's gonna continue chasing Goong below half health, and the Koo Tigers might have found a window to go the front line when that happens for obvious yeah. reasons, but I think they're playing too cautiously. Well, yeah, now there's no Meganar, so they jump onto Spen. He's not gonna get denied from that hop, and a three-man knockup coming in from Wash, and Goong picks up the kill right on Spen. Prey has to back up, but he's taking a lot of damage. There's a stomach to heal. He's still trying to kite with his missiles, and there's a boomerang blade. Not gonna get the kill on Gorilla just yet. Wisdom has that black shield on him. Watch chasing after. The Koo Tigers all have to back out safely here if they want to defend their own base, and the Dark Binding will help. And Duke can watch also both have Thorn Mail to make sure that if they stick on to that Corky, that Corky can't even think about kiting and simply has to either run or die. Well, same with Wisdom and Smeb, right? So, it's true. Oh, and there's a Righteous Glory, and on the hunt, and Pure goes in, but he took way too much damage. Prey backs out with the Black Shield. is not affected by the Death Charge, but Kuro gets caught a little bit too deep. He's trying to use the Shield to stay alive, and he's going to blink out just in time once again. And Smeb is in Mega Nar form. Duke gets stunned, and Prey comes back in for the damage on to Duke. They take him out. 76 seconds down for Duke. For Najini and Fire, Wisdom up front with a lot of health. Smeb standing behind with some poke and Prey just buying for that option and Watch gets stunned into the wall. But a single man Mega Nar ult not going to do much. Everyone on the Koo Tigers pretty low as Oki is still at full health. No objectives taken. And at this late stage of the game, one super minion wave isn't really going to do a whole lot. So Najin easily able to keep presence in the middle of the map. And we're all back to normal with all spells available. There's another good Black Shield onto Smeb, but Wisdom tries to come in from the side, but he's actually going to get caught out. The Koo Tigers have to back up, but Goon going in onto Prey. And there comes the ultimate from Gorilla. It's going to give Prey time to escape, and a nice Mega Nar onto Goon. And Goon goes down to Prey with another missile and a Phosphorus Bomb as Watch gets caught out. Double kill for Prey. He's still kiting from afar. Duke gets slowed down. Another stun from Smeb, and that's a kill for Kuro with a nice body slam onto OQ, a double kill, and an ace for Koo Tigers. Wow, what great kiting coming in, and that black shield was so crucial because it gave Smeb time just to get into that Mega Nar form, and this will be a win for the Tigers as they charge wow. forward. They have to take out the inhibitor, inhibitor, inhibitor. <laughs> there you go. So I was like, oh, already taking these turrets. <laughs> Paying attention, but that's going to be it. So a really impressive come from behind win for the Tigers. Based off of their strength, they're kiting, but man, did it look dicey for a while. Well, well played by the Koo Tigers. They really focused hard towards that mid game, making those intricate dances work in favor for their style and bringing this to a series against Najin the Empire. Yeah, still, I mean, Najin played that pretty well for most of the game. and. A lot of those dragons uh, giving the Tigers the pressure they needed to take this one. But man, they have to be so much more.